Wright here talking with senior center fielder Kelly Majum. Congratulations going to the Seattle Regional for the NCAA tournament. Your third time going to the tournament mm -hmm. in four years. Any thoughts about going to UW and uh, our opening team, uh, our opening opponent, Minnesota? Our team was making predictions. Everyone had their thoughts of where we were going to go. Some people picked Washington, so that was really fun at the selection show, um, waiting for our name to get popped up. And, and we're just really excited to make postseason. And, yeah, it is my third time out of four, which is awesome. And I'm really proud of this team that we um, had a great showing this year and that we played well enough to win the Big West. And I'm really excited to play Minnesota. My little sister um, plays them in conference, so um, she'll give us some little heads up and tidbits here and there. So I'm really excited to go to Washington. And, you know, we ended on a five-game winning streak. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the importance of taking that momentum on, on the road? Yeah, it's a, it's huge to have momentum going into the postseason and being on the road. Last year, um, going into regionals, we didn't have that momentum. We had lost twice at the WAC tournament. So this year, having the momentum of winning five games is really going to help us having the confidence um, in the circle and at the plate. So um, it's definitely a good a good place for us to be at going into the regional. And you're one of the five seniors that went to the 2010. Mm -hmm. Tremendous run to the World Series. What are you in particular trying to uh, impart upon the younger ones on the team about uh, getting prepared for the NCAA tournament and what all that comes with it? It's really important since we are going to be living in hotels for quite a while that we we stay um, in good health and that we um, don't eat too much, don't eat too little. Um, we also are done with school, so we don't have anything really to um, keep our mind off of softball. So just to stay focused and not to get distracted by other things and um, just being really aware of ourselves and our bodies and what we're doing to um, prepare ourselves for the weekend. Um, a lot of people will think since we are done with school that we can do whatever we want, but it's it now we're just softball players, and, and that's really exciting. Um, for us to be able to just focus on our game and focus on the weekend. And um, I'm really hoping that the, the girls on our team will, will see it like that and that we'll be prepared for the weekend and, and really want and desire to put all their effort into the game. So I'm really excited for this team. And I know that the seniors that have been to the 2010 World Series um, will help with that and will push our younger players to do the same. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks. And good luck. Thanks. Okay, here talking with head coach Bob Coolin. Congratulations on the 11th NCAA tournament that we're going to. Um, going to Seattle for the second time in school history for the regional. Uh, any thoughts on going back to Seattle? Yes, it's uh, exciting for us to go back to Seattle. We were there in 1999, and it's a different venue. Uh, it's, it, we had some success there. And it is a good ballpark, uh, a very, um, it's not a big ballpark. and. You know, we're, we're just happy to be going someplace different other than Arizona or to UCLA, Stanford, somewhere down here because it just gives us an opportunity to travel a little bit more. And being here in Stockton area gets us a little bit closer rather than going all the way back home to Honolulu and then having to fly back to Washington come Tuesday. We're just going to practice here and, and lift here and do what our regular routine usually brings to us as we get prepared to get all of our arrangements to get up to Seattle so we can get into UW and, and get ready for the regional. Hawaii has played uh, Portland State twice already and UW twice already, winning both against Portland State and splitting against UW. Any advantage about of playing those two teams earlier this season? It gives us a little bit of a familiar idea of what they bring and what they possess, their pitching, their hitting, their styles. It gives us a little bit of an insight as to those teams. So we have some scouting reports on them. Minnesota is the unknown entity, but as I always tell my players, we worry about the uniform that we wear and try to prepare ourselves as best as we can to go out on the field and, and be 100% healthy to put our best foot forward rather than worrying about what the opponent brings to the ballpark. So we may get a little bit of an inside um, information in regards to what style Minnesota plays, whether it be short game, long ball, um, but that's about it. We're not going to worry about who their hitters are, who their pitch pitchers are, because we're going to have to figure all that out when we get to the ball. So talk about one of our last five games in a row, taking that momentum on the road into the NCAA tournament. How big is that? It, it 
really serves us well that we were able to rebound after the Santa Barbara loss, and it was a tough loss because we could have won the Big West outright by winning all three games at home and not worrying about coming into someone else's ballpark here at UOP who holds the edge and wins against us. So having that momentum of our last five games where the players are playing really loose, really relaxed, they're playing good ball, we're not making a lot of errors, and we're hitting the ball, which is very vital. And we also have the emergence of a second pitcher. Uh, Loie Kesterson has done a nice job, and, and Kaya feels that pressure being lifted off of her that we have a different style pitcher behind her and they complement each other. And all of that is coming together right now. Our players are excited about our next step our, in the long journey that we've had this year. I told them back in February, once we start, it's over. And this is the culmination of the season. Started in February, ended in May, and now we're taking that step forward where every team is 0-0 going into the tournament and now you try to keep yourself in the win column and once you lose and you lose twice you're out so we're trying to avoid that and play as best we can. And your whole staff and the five seniors they're the last group to have gone to the World Series so they know um, what it takes to get there. Have they talked at all to the younger players about uh, what it takes to get past the regionals, past the super regionals into the final? Or, uh, World Series? I'm sure they've alluded to it in a couple of their settings where they were together as a team only without the coaches. Now they have to start tomorrow emphasizing what it's going to take. The chemistry that it's going to take, no drama, you can't really have players that are not giving 100% effort, not doing their jobs, even if it's a job such as dugout management or doing the scoreboard, or keeping whatever it is they need to do to keep themselves in the game, our upperclassmen have to allude to the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors that aren't playing what they need to do to keep ourselves going in regards to a smooth sailing ship and not have any type of drama where we have our own interactions that are causing us issues. So right now, the seniors will begin that process tomorrow of what it's going to take to stay on the road for the next three weeks. Great. Thank you very much, Coach, and good luck.